to you, Josh. Oh, how are how, you? I'm good. Hello to you, Jesse. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Josh, look who's here. It's oh. the listener. Hey, well, the listener, come on in. Hello. <laughs> We've got Hello, a big town listener. improv for you. Sure, sure we do. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, now, now, Josh, uh, just in case the listener has uh, suffered from crippling amnesia since the last time uh, there was an episode, could you, could you tell him or her uh, what to expect from uh, the first part of Big Town Improv? Yes, Big Town Improv, for you, memory loss listener, is an improvised podcast, and in the first part... Jesse and I are going to have some conversation, tell some true stories from which we will draw details to inspire a montage of short, improvised comedic scenes. And then, Jesse? Well, first, let me say, I'm really sorry to hear about the amnesia, and we hope that you recover. Right. That, uh, that is, it isn't like in the movies where that's like, uh, you know, something that just happens and there's no consequences. Like, that's a serious, like, brain problem. In real yes, life. Uh, so, sorry. Yeah, um, but in the second part of uh, Big Town Improv, you're going to get to see an extended scene in which we will uh, have multiple characters, places, and pl- and do a, a whole long uh, plot-connected story, like a, like a audio movie. Like an audio movie. And it's too bad you can't remember any of the previous episodes, listener, or else you would have, uh, you'd be impressed how Jesse and I kind of say the same thing every episode. Explain, like, we, we've never written that down, but it's, we're starting to really lock in on how to describe Big Town Improv. That's, that's yeah. a, a, a special thing. By the way, we've, we've been friends for a while, but I'm Jesse Moriarty. <laughs> um, one of the hosts of uh, Big Town Improv, and uh, it's really, it's really tragic to me to see what this this accident or disease has done to you. <laughs> and listener, <laughs> please don't you remember me, Josh Pilch, your old friend from thirty one episodes? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is sad, Jesse. <laughs> uh, Josh, maybe. Maybe if we do some improv, it'll trigger the okay. listener's memory. Maybe it will be like the silly amnesia that's on sitcoms and movies. That <laughs> because because I there, there what what films have taught me is there's three possibilities here. Yeah. Uh, one, um, either uh, the, the the memory loss will simply go away on its own and be completely forgotten about in the next episode, whereupon they will remember everything perfectly. <laughs> right. right? right. Uh, two. A repeat of the original accident may happen, you know, right, that's like they true. get hit again in the same spot, <laughs> and that uh, that brings the memory back. Right. Um, um, which, by the way, don't do that. <laughs> if you actually <laughs> don't bad advice. <laughs> or finally, something uh, there's some sort of external trigger based on their old right. memories. You know, like they might they see or hear something that that, un- that breaks the lock that's holding their memories back or something. Right, right. Well, so why don't we jump into the conversation section of Big Town Improv? Uh, listener, do you, do you recognize <laughs> this? It's the random word generator. It, it, it's been here all along. You love the random word generator. Here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll push the button. <laughs> okay, Josh, your random words for today are dignity, chord, chord with an H, like a musical chord, okay. um, rule, um, wrestle, extreme, and crusade. Mm. Okay, and listener will use these words to inspire uh, memories. Um, chord, uh, uh, so... so uh, I uh, enjoy playing music a lot. Uh, chord mi- is sort of um, uh, I, I, the first instrument I played in school was the saxophone. So you just learn notes oh. on the saxophone. 
Uh, oh, I remember this. You told us about the like the mean saxophone. Yes, there were the, mean. The, the, <laughs> they were mean to me. Uh, <laughs> they were bullies. But um, but the first chord you learned. Um, well, you don't play chords on the saxophones. The, like that was sort of like an, a higher level music theory thing to me. Uh, like among other things, but so I I remember I wanted to take. Um, like uh, an additional like extra music theory kind of uh, uh, thing like in the summer at a, at a community college like a friend of mine was doing it also he was like a really oh. good drummer and uh, so we took this like yeah this like high level music theory class and I had my saxophone and uh, so largely throughout my school career I was like a really good student and like I I would you know, uh, I took it very seriously and I would, I would maybe look down upon people who didn't take, uh, school seriously, but I got to this, uh, music theory class and there's a huge group of people and they're, they said, okay, we're going to decide who goes into which class. Let's each, uh, let's each like, uh, play a little jazzy improvisation. And I had no idea how to do that. And it seemed that everybody there did. <laughs> so, so uh, everybody did these like amazing, like, you know, well uh, executed musical improvisations. I played the theme from star Wars and everybody laughed. Uh, <laughs> so I got placed in the lower level class. And I was like, well, all right, I guess I don't know this stuff so i might as well get placed in this class and then it seemed that like every day or or, like every week that i would go to this class i would make some like horrible mistake um like i could never remember any of like any of what i learned in the class and then one week in particular i remember i somehow forgot to bring the mouthpiece of my saxophone. So I kept having to like interrupt the class being like, Oh, I can't play this instrument at all. Uh, the teacher's like, well, go to the, there's a payphone. go use the payphone." And I went to the payphone and it was broken. So I had to come back into the class and be like, Hey, the payphone's broken. So the teacher had to take me to a different payphone. We had to go outside in the rain to get to it. And like through this whole like experience, I remember feeling like, Oh, like I'm the bad disruptive kid. Like it (laughs) it was like a, 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 an empathy lesson for me. Like, to uh, uh, <laughs> like when I see kids who are struggling in classes, like don't uh, don't necessarily pass judgment. Like as far as these people know, this is what I'm like all the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow, uh, so that's, that's pretty deep, stuck man. with me for some reason. <laughs> I can imagine that's uh, that's an important uh, lesson that I think we all need to learn. Um, yes, it's probably true. Uh, I never, I never uh, took an instrument. I considered it um, because you did have to take some kind of musical class uh, in my school, but you could just do uh, vocal. Uh, you could just uh, okay. do singing, um, <laughs> which um, naturally, um, see, I, I was the student that like... Um, put their effort into figuring out how to not put in effort. Right. Um, like, because in, 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 in that class, you could, uh, I could hang in the back and bluff my way through the entire uh, thing and just simply lip sync without any effort. Right. Um, if everybody singing together, that's very easy. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, um, so that's what I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it was mostly because you had to, uh, if you, um, wanted to, um, uh, do an instrument, um, then you had to get it, you had to buy it yourself, which of course, I'm sure my parent, 
I'm, I'm sure my parents would have bought the instrument, but I did have enough of a conscience to say, like, I'm not going to put forth the effort in this. I don't want them to pay for something that they that I am not at all going to like uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> attempt to uh, attempt to master. So, right. Uh, right. So uh, that's uh, that's that. Um, why? Why do you think you uh, were, would put in the effort to uh, to not put in effort? Because I I. I I w- would imagine a young Jesse Moriarty wouldn't just generally hate learning, but I, I could see why a school situation I, isn't necessarily. I enjoyed learning, that. but I don't. Uh, but but I, I, I had a. Uh, um, I, 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 I proud. I was proud um, and, and hated structure. Um, uh-huh. I. Uh, I <laughs> I didn't think uh, I, I thought myself grander than all the other uh, <laughs> students, and uh, yeah. and uh, was not particularly patient. Um, so I guess we both did in a way. We just went about it differently <laughs> in, a, in, a, in an interesting way. Yes, like yeah. we both had like this superiority complex, but right. it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a particularly good, like, um, do you remember, like, a good plan in a class that you, like, uh, uh, of course, there was the lip syncing plan. Is that, do you have any other ones that you, where you got around the, uh, the goal of the uh, class? <laughs> let me see. I think I actually might have, um, mentioned, uh, oh. before the, uh, the class where I uh, wore sunglasses and sat yeah. in the back just so I could n- nap right through it, and there was no right. way to uh, nowhere to tell. But let me think. Um, I got, I became quite good at like uh, the middle of the road PE kind of thing, where you don't go oh, yes. uh, too fast or 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 do too well, so that they like they they're like, hey, you're doing good here. Do this. Uh, do more of this. And you don't go too slow that they focus their attention on you to bring you up to, to snuff. You just, you just stay in a comfortable, <laughs> easily uh, unnoticeable middle ground. That's, um, that's very smart. In, in a similar vein, this was why I, I didn't join the wrestling team, even though they wanted me to. Because um, in high school, they, uh, in, they, they like, had you go through all the different sports teams and uh, I did the. I, w- I went to the, like the wrestling demonstration. Oh, the wrestling. <laughs> and, yeah, and um, they had like little, mm, you know, uh, exhibition match. They would put you up against another person, and they're like, "Here's here's what wrestling is," and try it out. And I ve- and I and I beat the guy. And they were like, "You should consider joining the wrestling team." And I was like, "But this is an after school activity, is what this is." <laughs> so. <laughs> Wow, you almost, you kind of got scouted even. Can you imagine? I, I, I think about sometimes how different my life might have been if I yeah. had uh, pr- food, <laughs> gone in the professional sports direction, specifically wrestling of all things. Right, um, right. <laughs> the advantage I had was that I have extremely long limbs, um, right. which, uh, which allowed me to like... Uh, Boa constrictor wrap myself around the other guy and prevent him from moving. Um, but of course, like at higher levels, this wouldn't mean anything. So like, right. I, I was fairly sure that like, you'd actually have to put in a serious amount of time and effort in order to be good at wrestling, no matter what your uh, body type is. So, <laughs> right. right. Um, that, yeah. um, so I did that not pursue sense. that. <laughs> Well, so the listener, uh, I'm sorry that this has to be the way that you remember us, but you're listening to a couple of uh, narcissists who hopefully have grown (laughs) out of it. Uh, (laughs) Yes. Um, Anything? Anything? Coming back to you? It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, Uh, Maybe maybe this will help. Oh, yeah. Maybe this will help, Josh. Um, What if we... um, what if we bring in some friends of ours and uh, that the listener knows as well? Yeah, yeah. good idea. Uh, okay, I hang on. I think it's Let me... uh, time for the, the monks. Yes, uh, up here they are at the door now. Click. Now, 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 listener, it's 
I think this is definitely going to work because otherwise you're probably super confused why we pretend a group of monks comes in here to chant the name of the next segment of the podcast. I barely remember why we do this, uh, but uh, since you have been with us all along, this will surely you. trigger your memory. By the way, monks, are you also the investors from last episode? Because... <laughs> <laughs> They're not, and again, totally not, silent. It's yeah, so I don't know mysterious. what I expected from that. But they're forming their line, Josh, so it looks like they're ready. Right. Uh, so let's hear what the next segment is. <laughs> Montage. Nope, the listener is... Scratching their head vigorously. Yeah, that was very confusing. Ra- raising their arms and looking around. Yeah. yeah well, uh, just it's time for the montage. <laughs> you think your skill with the saxophone can defeat mine? Ha! I'll crush you and throw you into the wind. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, uh, you think uh, that your skills are so superior? Well, what about this? Uh, bom, bom, bom. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did you see what Nigel did? He really pulled out an unexpected move there. <laughs> yeah, he played... Uh, it sounded like he played three uh, consecutive uh, 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 half or whole steps. Uh, yeah. Oh as- man, I don't know if Ralph can uh, can counter that. <laughs> let's let's see what Ralph does to uh, to counter Nigel. Uh, <laughs> all right, you've got some middling skill, but. <laughs> Let me unleash my ultimate technique. (sighs) (laughs) Ah, My hair is blowing back. (sighs) How did that even happen? The the, the air comes from the, like, it's pointing up with a saxophone. (laughs) I don't know. I'm getting nervous about this. Wait. uh, This is... This is odd. Am, am I interpreting this correctly? That this is sort of a a, a jazz improv off, but but uh, it seems like they have the powers of like kind of like a card card game anime. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's right. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 purse and for some reason the stakes of this friendly contest are enormous. <laughs> the person who fails will be expelled. <laughs> uh, this of uh, this of course is Nigel's uh, thought process. You can hear inside <laughs> of my head. Uh, that was such a good yeah, with like a slight echo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was such a good job playing that saxophone. Uh, he's clearly showing such superior skill to me. Uh, I'm definitely going to get expelled. Plus, he's going to keep my grandfather kidnapped. Unless, what if I play mm, a minor scale? Ha, ha, ha. I'm waiting for you to play your next tune. What? <laughs> Impossible! <sighs> no one's ever been able to play a minor scale. What are they talking about? Of course someone has been able to play a minor scale. That's <laughs> We wouldn't even have a name it's for it if basic, nobody had done yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It can't even mean in, like, this context, because it's something that, like, <laughs> you would learn fairly on, early on in uh, your musical yeah. Uh, career. Yeah, it's weird. Ah! <laughs> you did it, and you sucked his soul out and imprisoned it in your saxophone. <laughs> Excellent. 
Now, now, I am the greatest saxophonist of the whole school! Uh, and, uh... Huh? Who's, who's that at the top of the stairs? And why does he have, like, a billowing cloak when there's no real wind to speak of here? <laughs> there's so much wind! Where's the wind coming from? We are indoors right now. <laughs> well done, Nigel. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Look at how, the, how we just look at his feet as he comes down the stairs before we're going to pan up towards the rest of it. <laughs> By pan up, you mean we're all going to tilt our heads up simultaneously to look at the top of him? Yeah, like, how would you describe that? <laughs> I guess that's right. Well, let's do it. <laughs> ah! He's very distinctive looking. Yes. Compared to most people in this crowd who look reasonably similar to each other, he stands out <laughs> with a unique character model. <laughs> so, uh, Principal Jeffries. That's right. The principal of this school who runs it because I have been appointed to lead the school. Principally. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can't uh, expel me anymore, because I can play a minor scale. Not bad. Huh, it bounced what? right off of him. How? <laughs> I... <laughs> what does he mean by that? Sound. Look, he's reaching into his cloak and pulling out a saxophone with uh, that looks like two saxophones fused together. <gasps> oh, a double saxophone! Now what will you do against my minor and major scale played together? Oh uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Pull my scarf away, revealing the parasitic twin growing out of my throat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've dropped I'll to my knees and I'm twitching. Uh. This, this jazz off is over. <laughs> Come and seek me out when you've become stronger. <laughs> uh, I just need to train more. <laughs> Look at him stroll away. He's so confident to the point of arrogance, really. Do we have to go to class at some point? You know what? I am getting a little annoyed with you pointing out the logical flaws <laughs> in this premise. <laughs> yeah! Uh, take this! It's a harmonic minor scale! <laughs> yep, you just played a scale at me! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. It sounded I mean, good. You, <laughs> it was good I don't think you you've actually that. played a... I don't think you've actually played a song at all yet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot more impressive. Psst, hey. Uh, yeah. Hey, um, I know the uh, professor's lecturing. Um, yeah. I just, um, I wanted to, uh, just, uh, uh, make sure, uh, uh, don't mind me, but like, if I sort of like put my legs up and rest them on your desk, it's just because I'm trying to get to sleep. Um, but, but this is pretty important material. Uh, like it's, it's going to be on like the, the exam. 
Yeah, I know, but I'm better than this. So uh, what I think the best use of my time is, is to go to sleep and um, just don't worry about me. I'm not... I'm not going to bother you. I don't see how I could because I'm so above all of this. Uh, why did you Why did you even come to class then? Seems like you're supposed to do that. Uh, it also, you know, I uh, I like to put myself into situations where I feel superior. Um, it's it helps with my self esteem. Um, anyway, don't, please don't worry. Don't worry about me. Um, and it'll make you feel it's superior to just sleep through the class. You won't even, well, so you won't even be aware of, uh, <laughs> of anyone else or what's going on. <clears throat> yes, that's right. Uh, okay. So I am going to <clears throat> set a, uh, let me just roll out my sheets. <laughs> uh, okay. I've stretched that over. My desk and yours. Uh, How did you even? Seems like you went to a lot of effort to bring all this stuff with you to the <laughs> to the lecture hall. Yeah, I mean, this is what's important to me. I, I put I. Uh, uh, did you did you hollow out your textbook to hide a pillow? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. You you I, I I'm telling you, you don't want to have to pay attention to what I'm doing. I put a ton of work into this uh and all it's gonna do is distract you from the from the uh, art history lecture what is is this a hologram projector are you projecting a hologram of you paying attention uh uh yes i i mean yes that that's what it is uh so uh, that's uh, that's an amazing piece of technology (laughs) did you invent this yourself (laughs) <laughs> well, look, I'm, I, I don't, I, I'm not like, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's the word for like uh, uh, science that would like build things? Uh, you know, I'm not much of an engineer, engineer but uh, you know, you are aware that this is a mechanical engineering course. <laughs> I, I know, but I don't care about that. All that I care about is that I can go to sleep in the course uh, without being noticed uh, in such a way that makes me feel good about myself. I don't have a lot to feel good about, okay? Uh, but you've made this hologram projector. That's if you were to... And the, the, even the, the hidden pillow that expands when you uh, like drop water on it. That's kind of cool. And... Uh, uh, I, look, I, I'm telling you, you, you don't want to, ha- you don't want to have to, uh, you don't want to delve into this. Okay. I, I'm not a happy person. Uh, and so please just, just ignore me as I, I'm just going to reach real quick into your pocket and here's my what? tooth, toothbrush, toothpaste. What the, how did you do that? <laughs> did I, you? I, a little bit of sleight of hand magic. It, it, it's, uh, but know. you must have done that before I came to class. I. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I. Uh, uh, yeah. I. I you, my, one of my um, uh, cyborg. Uh, uh, no, what? Not... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't walk that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to have to explain this, but. I, yeah, I have a, I've, over time, in order to save time, uh, I have uh, programmed several cyborg animals to do tasks for me. Uh, One of them, uh, I needed to sneak my toothbrush into your pocket, so uh, my robot uh, 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 dog friend... Uh, first I learned how to do sleight of hand magic, then I taught it to this robot dog, then, uh, it went and put my toothbrush into your pocket, so, uh, okay. I'm starting to think you have a legitimate reason to feel superior to other people. (laughs) (laughs) I don't, I really don't, I'm telling you, I'm a sad person, I, I I don't want to be here, uh, and, uh, uh, I, I, I just, um... Uh, oh, the, pro- the professor's looking our way. Uh, maybe we should uh, 
What's that? What's that ray you're hitting him with? That's <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, this it seems to be erasing his memory of it's the last It's just an few obfuscation, seconds. Ray. I built this to help me with my tasks of not being noticed. Uh, <clears throat> oh my! How how did you? That 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 flies in the face of so much of what I know about like biology and and mechanical engineering. You're telling me, but uh, it was not easy to make. But I needed to do it so that I could go to sleep. Uh, now. <laughs> If I can just wet my toothbrush, let me pull out my automatic water creating machine. Uh, what? This, of course, <laughs> turns the molecules into the air into clean water. Uh, so I can wet my toothbrush. Uh, oh, darn it. Too much I... water again. Way too much clean, fresh water. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Later. Hey, hey, wake up. Class is over. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, thank God. Okay, time to go. Uh, uh, yeah, homework is to... Um, we have to build a Lincoln Log house. Uh, fuck that. It sounds hard. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way can I handle woof, that. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> thanks, thanks, uh, Fidor9000. Uh, well, it looks like I'm going to have to teach you how to uh, hew a tree and whittle them into building sticks <laughs> later on. No! Don't come back! You Wee! can just buy the Lincoln Log! <laughs> <laughs> it is fun to fly on a robot dog! <laughs> come back! Your sense of priorities is distorted! <laughs> Man, Jimmy, I, uh, I'm really nervous about, uh, going to class. Uh, uh, this summer, this summer was pretty rough. Uh, I mean, you're my best friend and you've been nice because you haven't said anything yet, but I guess you noticed my arms have grown incredibly long. <laughs> um... What? <laughs> yeah, uh, I had a bad yeah, summer, Jimmy. <laughs> Threepwood, I, 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 I feel that like you're making a mountain out of a mole hill here, and uh, it's it's really barely you really it's it's barely noticeable as long as you know you fold your arms up and keep them behind your back. All right, I know, but. I'm going to forget to do that at some point, and I think all the kids are going to make fun of me. Uh, and oh, you're, you're exaggerating. I think the kids who go to school know better than to judge people based on their appearance. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, but, look, well, you, you, you'll hang out with me, right? It's, uh, yeah, of course I'll hang out with you. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm no looker myself since I have red hair. <laughs> I, I really don't think kids care about that kind of thing anymore. That is kind of a, an antiquated uh, thing that kids make fun of. On the other oh, hand... Oh, three boy. <laughs> your naivete is charming. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll see. I'm going to fold my arms up. It's more comfortable for me to do that anyway, because otherwise my hands just drag on the floor. That's how long my arms have become. I noticed that. Like, in, and Thank you they're, for they're, not saying anything. The weird thing is, and I, I don't want to seem judgmental, but they like it's like you have like multiple elbows and like they. I, <laughs> they, I was they, hoping you wouldn't notice that. Uh, can like hold up will like notice? a collapsible uh, telescope or something. I know <laughs> that's the hard thing. I'm trying to fold my arms in a way that makes it look like I only have one elbow per arm, but of course I have many. Uh, oh. Being a teenager is so hard. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Oh, great. Jimmy and Threepwood, <laughs> my two 
least favorite guys. Uh, man, it's Brad. Oh, man, it's Brad. Hey, Brad, why don't you leave us alone? <clears throat> I will, if you can point out a single physical flaw on my body. <laughs> <laughs> Let me he's, turn around here. Oh, he's completely <laughs> flawless. He's perfectly symmetrical. Uh, he's, 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 li- he's like a freaking Vitruvian man. I don't, uh, <laughs> he's exactly eight heads tall. <laughs> <laughs> the space between his eyes is exactly one eye length. <laughs> and boy, is he toned. <laughs> Look at that bot. Yeah, that's right. That's what it's like to be Brad. Uh, Hey! What? Uh, Oh no! Seemed to have dropped my pencil. Think you could pick that up for me, Threepwood? Oh, sure. Uh, I guess I like to help. (laughs) Whoop! Flop! Oh no! Hey, everybody! No! Look at Threepwood! No! His arms are a biological impossibility! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I'm not impossible! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so... No, you are! Look, at it was the subject of my science project. There's no way your heart could pump blood to arms that long. No, no, I'm gonna turn around and run away. Uh, whoosh, whoop, flap. Oh no, my arm. <laughs> my arm. Oh no, my arms flapped up and hit everybody. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's, it's all right, Threepwood. Uh, I, 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 we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stand up to Brad. That's what we gotta do. You think so, Jimmy? I think it's the only way, yeah. It's going to be hard. He's so beautiful. I know, he's amazing, but... (laughs) But you have to remember that his soul is ugly. (sighs) That's true. Hey, Brad! Oh, what is it? Long arms? (laughs) My name is... Threepwood! <laughs> Not much better, really. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I don't care if my arms uh, stretch all the way to the floor and each of them has three elbows. <laughs> One elbow in between each segment that normally would be in an arm. <clears throat> Uh, and 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 I don't care that his hands have nine fingers and that his wrists can bend all the way backwards. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, he has red hair, by the way. Is anybody? <laughs> okay, <laughs> small reaction to that. <laughs> but Brad, you're a jerk. It doesn't even matter that you're so unbelievably handsome because you're a jerk <sighs> nobody's ever said that to me before me Brad the platonic ideal of jockdom <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> why don't you get out of here <clears throat> in fact I'm going to use my freakishly long arms to stretch past you and reach down, pick up a saxophone. <sighs> what are you doing with that? With which I will use to play a... Uh, your ar- in order to hold the saxophone up to your mouth, <laughs> your, your enormous arms are getting a ri- or like spread out like the wingspan of an albatross. It's extremely... <laughs> Shut up! Arpeggio! Ah! Oh no! His skin flew off! (laughs) You've killed him! (sighs) Well, I guess it turned out everything was okay. I think this is going to be a good year after all. I think so too, Threepwood. I think so too. 
Principal Jeffries! <laughs> ha! So, it looks like you might have some talent after all, Threepwood. Come and challenge me in the gym when you're ready to duel a god. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. In fact, why don't we leap at each other while uh, lines whoosh past us in the background and then... Just as we're about to meet, we'll whoa! freeze frame. That's a good. That's a good like place to stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I thought I was getting away from this. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we transferred. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing there, listener? Hey, listener. Don't you remember? That's the kind of silly stuff that we do. No, you're the listener. You, that's you. That's you. Oh. That's you, the one, the one we're talking to. Uh, um, uh, uh, don't you remember how Jesse and I love to uh, come up with uh, simple names that begin with J, like Jimmy, and then crazy names like Threepwood? It's a gimmick that we do. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of. Uh, it doesn't. He's, uh, he's, they're they're not still working. not. They're All still right. not. Well. No glimmer of recognition there. Well, we're going to have to bring out the big guns, Josh. Yeah, I think it's time yeah. to move into the next segment. And, and hopefully this will be the thing that, that shakes the listener out of their uh, amnesia. If, uh, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Yeah. Um. Uh, of course, the next segment is uh, the long, extended uh, narrative improv, and what we need to inspire uh, that story is once again a trip to the random word generator. Here we go, Josh. Okay, your words for this segment are relief, burial, behead. Ooh. <laughs> Article, flight, list, and contemporary. Okay. Any of uh, any of those really uh, really exciting you, Josh? Yeah, I, I heard think... an ooh when I said behead. I know. Well, there's lots of creepy stuff happening in there, and I think I think that gives me an idea of where to take this story. Are you ready, All Jesse? All right. I sure am, Josh. Let's do it. Igor, quickly to my chamber. Yes, master. What is it? I, uh, have you, uh, brought me the guest list for the party I'm throwing? Yes, Master. The following people have RSVP'd. <laughs> uh, Tony. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I am glad that Tony is going to be at my party. M- me, Count Dracula. Yes, I know who you are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just making sure... Also, will be there is the headless horseman. Ah, oh, good, good. He's well connected. This will make my party uh, seem very uh, enticing. And then, my cousin Frank. <laughs> you said I could invite him. No, no, that's fine. I did tell you that. <sighs> So so far, only the headless horseman and Tony and Frank. Well, no. Uh, oh. There's also there's also going to be the 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 Duchess of Evil. Ah, wonderful! Uh, the Duchess, uh, uh, again, very well connected, being a Duchess and all. Oh, and and her her plus one is her niece Kylie. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Endless Horseman, Duchess of Evil, Tony, Kylie, Frank. 
<laughs> and one more person. Oh, okay. Uh. <clears throat> Your uh, old neighbor. Uh, that's right. It. Yeah. No, please say not, it. Not. Not. Abraham Van Helsing himself, my greatest rival. I'm afraid. I'm afraid so. Uh, you mailed him an invitation by mistake, and he accepted. Oh, I meant to send that to the Wolfman. Why was Abraham Van Helsing even in your contact? <laughs> I I try to keep tabs on him because he is always trying to kill me. Mm, well, this party will no doubt be an excellent opportunity for him to try and kill you, Master. So I think being the host, you within, would be within your right to send him a letter saying, Hey, sorry, that <laughs> invitation went to you by mistake. <laughs> uh, okay, but uh, the, the party, of course, is in two days. Uh... How quickly do you think I can get a letter to Abraham Van Helsing? Well, we have email now, Master, so instantly. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let me uh, log on to my computer. Igor, I hope you appreciate the importance of this party. You see, each year one monster is in charge of throwing the monster mash. <clears throat> but, uh, of course... Perhaps you remember what happened the last time the duties of the Monster Mash fell on me, Count Dracula. Oh, it was. Again, I am aware of your identity. <laughs> I... <laughs> I've been working with you for years. I am a, fam a famous monster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, yes, I do remember it was quite embarrassing for you socially, Master. It was, uh, uh. and that's probably why the the creature from the Black Lagoon and Frankenstein's monster did not accept your invitation this year. Oh, no, those are heavy hitters. It is. <clears throat> Very embarrassing that they're not coming to my party. In fact, what are they doing instead? It's kind of, uh, like, what did they say? They'd rather just stay in tonight? <sighs> Uh, well, no, they made a, uh, they made some, some, uh, fairly good excuses. The creature from the Black Lagoon apparently go is going to his daughter's clarinet recital. Oh. Um... And and Frankenstein's monster. I have the letter here. He says, "Her me no want go you lame." So that one was pretty mean, actually. But his thought process is not so uh, strong. I uh, actually appreciate the candor of it <laughs> compared to you know trying to make an excuse. Yes, unlike I noticed the mummy <coughs> just clicked maybe. For if he's yes, we all know that he's not. Of going course, to he's not. Things. But I better hurry to my <laughs> Gmail account, uh, yeah. and it re for me it really is an account because I <laughs> Count Dracula. <laughs> I get it, Master. <laughs> Maybe don't do those at the party. <laughs> What do you mean, Igor? People love my jokes. They always tell me how much they love them when I ask. Uh, yes, well, um, All right. still. Let, just, let me maybe. send this email to Abraham. Oh, no. There's an email here from Abraham. Uh, oh, no, you'd better read it out loud, Master. You know I can't read, <laughs> apart from this list that I was reading earlier. <laughs> yes, you, you, <laughs> you asked uh, uh, someone else. You asked, um, uh, who's, who's the guy who always eats the rats? Uh, who lives here in my castle? That's Jagor. Jagor, that's right. Uh, one more <laughs> from Igor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yeah, you asked him to uh, tell you what was on it. You memorized it. I know your tricks. Anyway, from Abraham Van Helsing. Dear Count, <clears throat> I... Uh, it was very 
Surprised and pleased to see you invited me to your party. I hope if you will not mind that I have also invited several of my friends. Uh, and we are all very excited. Uh, it, <coughs> because all of us are coming, it would be awkward if I didn't. Signed, Abraham Van Helsing. That's kind of nice, Master. Perhaps he's trying to bury the hatchet. Hmm. I don't... I don't know. We... Our... Uh, our nemesis ship goes back a long way. Uh, yes, I've heard. Since you were both in high school, right? <laughs> yes, yes. I remember the monster mash I threw in, in high school. Oh, I just... I dreamed of being able to kiss um um yeah. El- Elvira is just like a, a real person <laughs> right like she's like yeah I don't cat. think that one would, would count <laughs> <laughs> uh, in uh, fact now I think of it there's uh, something of a suspicious lack of famous female monsters huh, <laughs> it, it's it's true it seems like a bit of an oversight well of course you, you know by the way Matthew you keep referring to these events in the past as though you're going to like flash <laughs> Back, but then you don't provide any further details. And there's no reason why you should, since we are both aware right. of, the, of the event. Right, you, you <laughs> no and I are it. both aware of the event, both you, Igor, and me, Count Dracula. Yes, again, I know, I know who you are. Uh. I don't know, but uh, Igor, you know, I was sort of debating in my head, do we take the time to remember these events, or would it be interesting if once uh, we go to the party and I talk to each person, maybe small details of the event would come up in conversation and... uh, you know, sort of I can see. see both ways being satisfying. <laughs> yes. Me too, me too. Both are fun. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Huh? Hey, hey, Jagor. Oh, Jagor, <laughs> it's you. Hey, uh, quick question. Count my man, you know, uh, Mr. Fangs, that's what I call you. Uh, um, any rats around here? <laughs> I, Jagor, I... As you know, I don't want any rats to be in my castle, so I don't try to bring rats here. Uh, I just think it adds something to the decor. Plus, you know, I eat the rats. Yes, I know. You're hungry. That's why you're asking, obviously. I eat them. (laughs) That's what I do, man. Uh, Uh, Hey, by the way, um, Count, uh, quick question. Um, is it cool if I bring, if I come to your party, uh, and, 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 uh, maybe bring my girlfriend along? I've told her I work in the main man's castle and want to impress her, huh? Oh, Jagor, I didn't know you were seeing someone. This is wonderful. <laughs> uh, oh, it's, uh, it's. It's getting kind of serious, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> nice to hear. Do I know her? Uh, actually, yeah, it's um, it's the uh, it's the blob that uh, <gasps> lives in the dungeon, devouring people. <gasps> the person who I desperately wanted to kiss all of those years ago, the blob. Yeah, you had a thing for the blob. <laughs> <laughs> I did, of course. I, Count Dracula, always wanted to kiss the blob. Uh, but oh man, and she'll be there at the party, but going with with Jankor, the Jay- coolest guy in this castle. Oh, it's so true. <laughs> whereas, and I'm sorry to make this comparison, Igor, but whereas you have a hunchback and uh, large bulging eyes, on the other hand, Jankor, 
man, is he a specimen? Look, eight heads tall, <laughs> eight heads <man>. tall, <laughs> perfectly symmetrical, uh, washboard abs. Uh, if it wasn't for the rat thing, he could make it in, in normal society. <laughs> he is a very, very handsome man who eats live rats mostly. <laughs> I'm still here and I can hear this conversation. <laughs> oh, hopefully you, he didn't hear the part about my secret love. Uh, oh, well. You're just doing a stage whisper here, Count. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly audible. Well, uh, Jay Gor, uh, I would be happy to have you and your uh, lovely date at my monster mash. Oh, that's you're you're a great guy, Count. Uh, we'll we'll see you there, and um, I think it's going to be a real fun party. Hopefully, better than the last monster mash you hosted. <laughs> <sighs> Yes, the last one. And do we flash back to it, or do we find out details no, later? We don't seem to be doing so, man. <laughs> so we'll find um, out details later. Yeah, that Jago is a nice guy, but he did just make a somewhat uh, insensitive comment. Uh, <laughs> you know that uh, you don't like uh, talking about I'm the I'm a last, bit touchy uh, about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do about Van Helsing, Master? Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, the thing with Jagor kind of distracted me from, from that. And, well, <laughs> and it clearly said in Van Helsing's email that if I were to disinvite him, it'd be awkward because all of his friends would come, and I don't know his friends. Uh, so they wouldn't have anyone to talk to, so I guess I have to invite him. Uh, so oh, It'll be awkward, Master. What if this is all a plot? To get you staked with a wooden stake, which, as you know, kills you because you are Count Dracula. I know who I am. You don't have to <laughs> set things up that way. Of course, we all know what my weaknesses are. Uh, uh, steak in the heart, sunlight. Um, uh, uh, garlic. garlic. I hate garlic. Yes. Uh, I'm very nervous for this party, but I... I think maybe this time I will turn it around. I, I'm not the I'm not the old insecure Count Dracula that I used to be. I'm a cool, happening, uh, confident adult Dracula. Uh, uh, it's true, Master. You've uh, you've definitely turned things around in a big way. I mean, wait till you wait till you tell people how you uh, how you water ski now. Yes, yes. That would be very impressive if I tell all my water skiing stories. Uh, and, uh, and, oh, I can't wait. I ha Now I have such a good record collection. I will play good uh, music true. at the party. And then I will tell funny jokes with count puns. That's going to be great. And you can count on it. Ah, eh? ah, 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 ah. Yes, I think this party is going to go just right. The night of the party. Okay, Master, the photo booth is set up. I know you can't use it, but other people should enjoy it. <laughs> We've also turned this room into a special karaoke room. Eh? Oh, eh? oh, that looks like lots of fun. I hope people... We'll sing a fun song in there. And, uh, okay, we've got all of the chips and dips out. Uh, uh, we've got, um, look at this fun trick. I, I have labeled it bowl of grapes, but actually it is a bowl of human eyes. You take a, a normal snack and label it with the name of something disgusting. It's brilliant, Master. Exactly. Uh, oh, man, it is... Now, the, the mash is ready, is, is ready to start uh, after all the guests are here. And, um, and uh, here, you, we'd better test the microphone system. Tap, tap. <coughs> Testing. <laughs> Why did they do that? Always feedback on <laughs> I, the microphone. I, I tapped it for this reason. <laughs> uh, testing, testing. One, two, three. Uh, okay. You sound Should great. Should be all set for your... You sound great, Igor. I'm very excited that you're DJing this party. 
<laughs> Thank you, yeah. Knock, 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 knock. <gasps> the first guest is here. Uh, let me go get it. Oh, my cloak look nice. Uh, okay. And I will open up the enormous creaking door. Hey! Hey! Dracula! It's me, Cyclops Tony! Hey! Tony, of course, was a Cyclops all along. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> That's right. Obviously, I had to be something weird to come to this party. <laughs> Tony, I'm so glad you are here. Uh, you're the first one. <clears throat> oh, really? Oh, well, uh, oh, I see. Oh, you're putting out grapes? Grow. Wait. Look no, again. No, look closer. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a joker, Dracula. Delicious eyes. Uh, uh, by the way, Tony, uh, did you hear if uh, the blob is is uh, going to be here soon? Have you seen anything on social media? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. Um, she and Jagor were doing a pre-party thing at, at uh, Frankenstein's little get-together. <laughs> Frankenstein is having get together. So even what he said, I don't want to because this party sounds lame. Even that was a lie. No, he genuinely thought your party was going to be lame. That's why he decided to have his own. Oh, no. But I'm sure his party is dumb. You know what Frankenstein does. Everybody just hooks themselves up to generators and <laughs> shoots themselves with lightning. Uh, and you know I don't go for those kind of uh, substance abuse parties. That's why I like you, Tony. I'm relying on you to uh, kick this party off, I think. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll keep my eye on things. Ah, 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 I can count on you. Uh. <laughs> That's the one joke. <laughs> oh, someone else is here. <clears throat> ah, Dracula. How lovely to see you again. It is me, of course, Frank the Centaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Frank was a centaur, of course. Uh, <laughs> what a strange thing to <laughs> Well, come here, come here. Master, master. Oh, Frank is a centaur. Okay. <laughs> like, it's, it's a monster, but it's not really a monstrous monster, is it? Like, uh, Yes, it's Cyclops, too. These are both things from, like, early <laughs> mythology. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can see why they're, like... Maybe not like that creme de la creme of the uh, of the uh, party thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, look! Seems like two people uh, are coming up together now. Uh, who else was on the list again? Um, well, there's the, the, the there's the headless horseman. Uh, <laughs> the right, and the headless horseman's. Uh, Dog? No, no, you're thinking of the Dutch, the Duchess of Evil and her niece, oh, right. <laughs> Kylie. Did somebody say my name? Ah, <laughs> uh, Duchess, come in, come in. Oh, my, a bowl of grapes. Oh, hang on now. Their eyes. Oh, wonderful. I shall mention this at the next evil, uh... Duchess's meeting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's big, master. <laughs> oh, hey, I think this party is going pretty good. There's a lot of people here. Uh, oh, uh, Igor, uh, Igor, why don't you kick off the, uh, the dance? Uh, which good is, idea. Which is different uh, from the mash. <laughs> yeah, no, the mash is like a ritual or something. Yeah, <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, all right, everybody. Um, uptown funk you up. <laughs> uptown funk you up. <laughs> hey, wonderful. Uptown funk you up. <laughs> uptown funk you up. <laughs> yes, yes, people are dancing. Oh, that's a huge component of making a party fun is if people are willing to dance. Uh, 
<laughs> Igor, make sure oh, someone else is here. Uh, let's go see. Hey, my man, Count, how are you? Jaegor, uh, good to see you. <laughs> pull, in, pull you into a bro hug here. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> boy, you slap me a bit harder than you need to. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the blob? Uh, y- yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Blob. Uh, boy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, it's, uh, good, go- it's good to see me. I mean, for me to see you. I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the way that you diffuse an awkward situation and make it comfortable for everyone, even me. Yeah, she's good at that. Ah, oh, so, what's going on in this party? Well, uh, they're, uh, they're, we're dancing. Uh, Igor just played the normal song, Uptown Funk. Uh, maybe next he'll play a song that's like, uh, uh, like spooky, like take on a popular song uh oh yes i think i hear one now uh. everybody die now <laughs> see uh, that is uh, that is one. Oh, i i hear another one. Oh. hey i just met you and this is crazy <laughs> but here's my number so call me zombie <laughs> oh i love it I actually love it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Spooky covers of regular songs. Wait, do I hear another one? Uh, 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 (laughs) Wait, wait. Something errs. Something errs. Help me out. (laughs) You got this count. Um... Howler's gonna howl, 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 and Screech is gonna screech, 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 and uh, Monster's gonna mots, 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 so Monster we Bash! We are gonna do that. Monster Bash! <laughs> we are gonna monst. Everyone, let's <laughs> monst! <laughs> yeah, this is good monsting. <sighs> wow, this party is going so good. Nothing like the last time. <sighs> Blob, there you are. What's that? You want to talk to me in the other room? Ah, uh, just uh, go into the parlor, and I'll come meet you in a moment. Uh, wait for me. I do want to talk to you. Uh, okay. I thought everyone was already here. Let's see who's at the door. Fell, fell, fell. It's Count Dracula. <laughs> ah, uh, Abraham Van Helsing. I know who I am. <laughs> well, you said Count Dracula. <laughs> Boy. Da, well, these are my friends. The Vampire Killing Squad. Blade. <laughs> the- hey. <laughs> The chick from Underworld. I'm actually a vampire too, but a, a good one though. That's right. Uh, Simon Belmont <laughs> from beep, the beep, Castlevania beep. series. Oh my, and he's like a uh, a uh, <laughs> 2D like uh, uh, <laughs> pixelated, pixelated part, yeah. And wait a minute, who's this behind you? It's the Hugh Jackman character Gabriel Van Helsing from that movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, Count. <laughs> I angst about my situation. Yes. What's the difference between you two? I, I always wondered why you were called Gabriel instead of just Abraham. <laughs> Seemed like you were him. During the production of the film, they thought that audiences wouldn't relate to a character named Abraham. <laughs> Plus, they were taking a lot of liberties with the original character. I have a steampunk cross. <laughs> and those, like, uh, throwing stars that you wear on your wrist and t- spin around <laughs> real fast. 
Yeah, it's like a cre- Assassin's Creed nonsense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so can we come into the party count? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I, I was happy to see that you were willing to let uh, uh, old uh, uh, rivalries die. Uh, please come in and... Yeah, that's not the only thing I'm going to let die. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, well, what else? <laughs> oh, uh... Bygones? That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Well, so um, obvious, but, well please. Master, this is, this is going great. The Headless Horseman is doing karaoke right now. <laughs> he, I, none of us can hear it, but it, sounds, it looks like he's really into it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, Abraham, uh, vampire killers, go dance. Uh, I'm going to go to the parlor now. Uh, uh, Oh, good. Uh, you waited. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear you say that. It's good to see you, too. Uh... Oh, no, no. I mean, I just, uh, you know, I get to the gym once a week. Uh, you look great, too. <laughs> What? Uh, 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 but you're with Jagor. Why are you act- <laughs> What? You actually hate Jagor and he's misinterpreting your slushes and slushes as, <laughs> as uh, gestures of love? <laughs> then you mean the time at... The last party I threw when we were in high school, and I uh, leaned in to kiss you, but I chickened out and ran away crying, and everybody made fun of me forever after that. You actually wanted to kiss me too? (sighs) This is... Master, master, it's time. It's time for the mash. We need you out there. Uh, Blob, uh, uh, we, we must continue this conversation. But come on, it is time for the mash. Uh, oh, after you. And look at you seep through that door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm tapping on a glass full of blood. (laughs) (laughs) You are that. Uh, My fellow monsters, thank you very much for coming to my monster mash. Uh, I uh, think probably some of you may have been a little concerned I would run away crying. Uh, 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 darn! He's 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 leaning into his own uh, previous social humiliation. This makes it harder for me to mock him for it. <laughs> so, uh, as we all know, it is time for the mesh. And uh, if you all don't mind, I'd like to be the one to get it started. Actually, I. <gasps> Thought that I might have say a few words right now. Uh, <laughs> this is highly unusual, Abraham. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Auntie. It's not like you're a real famous monster anyway. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I never children these days. <laughs> you sound like a, a female Abner, is what you sound like. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> now, my fellow monsters, or should I say, you are all monsters, and I, Professor Abraham Van Helsing, am a monster hunter. Yes, okay, yes, that's accurate. And I have you taken this opportunity when I was mistakenly invited by a missent email <laughs> to come up with a plan to destroy you all. Oh, shoot, you know it was a mistake. 
<laughs> yes, because it was addressed to someone else. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait a minute. What did you say? Destroy us all? Yeah, that's right. Destroy you all with this. <laughs> The karaoke machine was secretly a garlic sunlight and uh, other weaknesses bomb. <gasps> Igor, where did you get the? Where did you rent the karaoke machine from? But, Mister, I rented it from Van Helsing, right? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no! And he didn't even turn his name backwards like when I go by Alucard. <laughs> That's right. I use my na- my own name and my own karaoke machine rental company to set this up. <laughs> oh no! But those are all the weaknesses of a vampire. Uh, yeah, that's right. But, uh, and as soon as I push this button, it's goodbye, Count Dracula. And I'm no. slowly lowering my finger. No. It's coming uh, closer to the... This is all... <laughs> Blobby? No! I'm being engulfed. <laughs> ah, the flesh. It is being dissolved from my bones. Hey. Fellow vampire hunters, we can't let this monster get away with that. It's me, Blade, obviously. Agreed. Let's have a fight. (laughs) Good thinking, Simon Belmont. Let's go! (laughs) Oh my, look at all the things that are happening. Looks like Simon Belmont is trying to whip the Headless Horseman with a chain. But what's this? The Headless Horseman is sucking up the chain into where his head should be. And then, uh, and then look, the centaur has kicked him away and the Headless Horseman is riding the centaur. (laughs) Oh, I knew Frank would come in handy. (laughs) (laughs) And look, uh, the... The the, uh, the 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 Cyclops is forcing Gabriel Van Helsing to watch Kate and Leopold, another <laughs> Hugh Jackman film. <laughs> oh, he's like TBS has come to life in my castle. <clears throat> and and look, the Duchess of Evil has used her iconic and legendary power to kill Blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's enough of that, my iconic and legendary uh, powers. Uh, and then the, ch- the lady from Underworld has also been killed by <laughs> making too many sequels until the, the, the concept was uh, overly played out. Yeah, she's, be- she's made herself irrelevant. Oh, Master. Oh. Uh, and then there's and then Dr. Van Helsing, your arch nemesis, is slowly and painfully burning to death within the acidic mass of the blob. Oh no. Uh, well I'm glad that we our enemies have been defeated, but uh, it is all my fault. I invited them here in the first place, and now the party is trashed. We didn't get to do the mash, and my one true love, the blob, is going to have to slowly digest my enemy. I'm starting to tear up again. That's go- enough of that, Count. Huh? I'm going to pick up the microphone from where it landed on the floor. <laughs> Jake, what? Guys! I have something to confess. Even though I'm incredibly handsome, I've always Ooh been la jealous. La. <laughs> Thank you, Duchess. <laughs> I've always been jealous of Count Dracula here. Uh, huh? Jealous of him? But he's the loser <laughs> who ran away crying. <laughs> hey, uh... Duchess, maybe let the man finish. He's clearly making a speech here. (laughs) All right. (laughs) But, after all, the Count had everything. I mean, he had this amazing castle. He had uh, the friendship of Igor, uh, my my beloved cousin. Um, 
Although he's much uglier than you. Okay, stop it. Stop seriously, interrupting seriously, me. Seriously, like, why? Why add that? <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a famous and legendary monster, and I'm just a handsome man who eats rats. Uh, <laughs> and uh, when I began dating the blob, it was mainly not because I truly loved the blob. It was... Merely because I was trying to one-up the count. And now I realize that I was standing in the way of a real and serious relationship. Um, and I think we all need to acknowledge that uh, Count Dracula is the real guy you can count on. <laughs> mm. uh, 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 uh. What a funny joke, Jagor. The one <laughs> joke about my name. Hey, man. B- blob? Uh, no, no. It, go ahead. I, I wasn't treating you right. I'm, I'm going to go back to dating Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, yes. Uh, another beautiful person. Beautiful person for a beautiful person. Makes sense. Yes. He also <laughs> eats rats. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Blob. You're saying that this is the moment when I can make up for the humiliation of my past by finally sharing a kiss? Do it, master. This is the moment. (sighs) Okay. Uh, I'm nervous, but I'm leaning in. And then suddenly, scoop! Oh, 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 spicy. <laughs> Master, there's still time before midnight for the mash. Here's your spoon and crystal glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thinking. Hey, uh, hope we're not too late. It's me, the wolf man. What? Uh, <gasps> uh, wolf man tell Frankenstein he was being thoughtless and jerk. <laughs> well, uh, the truth is, uh, the Cyclops, uh, uh, was, um, uh, uh, videotaping Jay Gore's speech, and it really showed us, uh, the error of our ways. Uh, Count... Yeah, I- but you don't appear in it, Count. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you knew he was talking about me, and you recognize my castle. <laughs> Well, anyway, I hope you'll uh, accept our apology and let us participate in the Monster Mash. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, oh, but there's only a couple minutes left. Places, everyone. It's time to do the thing that we do when it's time for the Monster Mash. <laughs> you ready, Master? I'm ready. Igor? Drop the beat. (laughs) I was working in the lab late one night. (laughs) When to my surprise, I he did the mash. He did the monster monster mash. mash. And we're all doing a choreographed dance. (laughs) Hey! (laughs) He did the mash! He did the mash! (laughs) He did the mash! (laughs) <laughs> mash good Mash he good Mash very good indeed uh, Frankenstein It's me the wolf man We know who you are <laughs> <laughs> Why do we do this every year man <laughs> what's, the, <laughs> what's the logic behind this ritual <laughs> Oh boy uh, Well uh, I could tell you Igor or I could flash back about it, about the history. Or we could slowly reveal the details over the course of the next day when I'm spending it with my new girlfriend, the Blob. What a beautiful sentiment. Listener, 
ringing any bells? Any? Wait, Josh. Look, huh? look at, look at their face. Oh, some sort of knowing. Uh, it seems like we've almost got through to them. I, wait a minute, Jesse. Look at this. Yeah. The, the uh, oh, shoot, the um, the wiring to the podcast machine is, is on the fritz. Uh, you know, it's funny. When I turned it on, I thought I saw a big spark that shot through all the wires and into huh. you know wherever the podcast goes. Anyway, let me let me just jiggle this knob again. Good idea. <gasps> oh no! Uh, the podcast machine sent an identical electrical shock through the wires and into the listeners' headphones. Oh no! I, I heard that's that's precisely how the amnesia was caused in the first place. And so, by a combination of a memory and a recreation of the original event, and what's the other way? Uh, what is the other? Uh, <laughs> we have, we have oh, three. it's just forgotten about by the by the next episode. Well, yeah. that'll definitely happen, and all three have happened. And look, the listener remembers us. Look, they, they, they acknowledgement, uh, recognition. Wow, what a wonderful moment! And, and Jesse, oh, wait, the listener is telling me something. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, Josh, they still don't remember one thing. They don't remember where to find you on social media. Okay, well, if that's the one thing, we can we can uh, just fill that gap in. Uh, you, of course, can find me on social media at the Josh Pilt Show on Instagram or at Josh Pilt Show on Twitter. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So that's your full knowledge base restored, listener. Oh, wait. Hold on. Listener, what's that? Oh, it's the listener is making a series of dinging noises like the trolley from Mr. Rogers, but I understand it. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, apparently, they, they don't remember your... Uh, 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 social media. Uh, <laughs> oh, I hope either. this is an. In- I hope this is an indicative of a longer term struggle with this problem. But yeah, I can be found yeah. on Twitter at Jesse Moriarty and on Instagram at Jesse Moriarty. Okay, and then that's everything. The, that's the absolutely everything. Knows. Oh, hold on. What's that, listener? What is it? You don't remember who composed and performed all of our amazing uh, uh, transition and theme music? <sighs> Oof. All right, well, you're going to want to keep this one in mind because all of our music is by Steve Wilder Blumenthal of wilderbluemusic.com. And uh, okay. we say that all the time. And wait, what? what's that, listener? Now you remember everything? Hooray! Oh, hey, it was just those three facts. <laughs> uh, but, oh, I guess the listener is saying that just to make sure they remember uh, any recent information, that we should go over <laughs> some of the places we've been recently. You know, it can't hurt, Josh, just to lock it all in. Yeah, fine by me. So from the... Um the deadly saxophone duels at school um to the desks that are comfortable to sleep on if you put enough work into it uh to the poor kids out there with uh, <laughs> lots of elbows and really long arms and all the way to to castle dracula and from Castle Dracula all the way to Big Town. And from Big Town to, to your, your town. town. <sighs> Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, my darling blob, I am kissing <laughs> all over your gross blobby body. <laughs> This is a wonderful image. Everybody picture it.